What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here and today I'm bringing you Excalibastard. I finally figured out how to solve this great mystery and it's easier than some might think, well, relatively speaking. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is find your way to Stanton's liver. All right. Once you find your way here, you walk around this way and you ignore these fools because once we get Excalibastard, we're going to come back and basically own all of their faces. So you walk around this way and just, just let them shoot you. Just take it all in. Vengeance will be yours. All right. Got to be sure-footed going this way. I don't know how much you uh, that's watching this video have played this game, but some spots can be a little wonky whenever you slide off of them or whatever, so this jump in particular can be a little tricky at first. But once you get over here, Excalibastard. Many have stood before it in its glorious presence and failed to be badass enough. But with exactly... 2500 badass rank Excalibastard will be yours alright so that's what you need once you have that we walk up here and we just take it in we just look at Excalibastard you know we take it in and then we take it out alright so there it is in all of its glory there's its stats let's go ahead and pick this puppy up we're gonna check it out. Let's equip it. Let's inspect it. Here we go. Some stellar damage. Level requirement 50. I don't know if that's because I am level 50 that we're seeing this level requirement. Level 50 is the highest level at the moment. Um, you know, I this is early in the game. I did some hackery to get myself to the point where I could actually pull this thing out, but um. Anyway, here's all the stats. Check all that stuff out. Whenever I first pulled it out, I observed this gun very closely, hoping to find some sort of Easter egg on it. Maybe something written somewhere, in somewhere, like inside, right above, under there. I don't know. I haven't found anything. I don't think there's anything. I think just getting this thing itself is glory enough I suppose but anyway that's that let's check it out see how it works in action all right so this is what it looks like when you're carrying it around and the first thing to notice whenever you use this weapon is the crosshairs both zoomed in and when you're not zoomed in as you will see here in just a moment Whenever you put your crosshair on an enemy, it turns red, indicating that you have them locked on, right? So whenever you zoom in, same thing, that little circle in the middle, it turns like a red, reddish orange, right? And then when you're ready, destruction. Amazing. No one will survive. Ah, oh, come on. One thing I noticed earlier whenever I was messing with this thing was uh, it won't rail through enemies, like multiple enemies, unfortunately. That would be pretty amazing. Um, but, I mean, no one survives this thing, at least at the early level I am. I mean, these are level 11 dudes. <laughs> That's the actual level that I'm at at the moment. But anyway, um, so I don't know if whenever you actually get this gun within the amount of time around level 50 or whatever level you can get it. I don't know if there will be other comparable weapons by that time, but right now this thing is pretty sick. So extremely fast reload time. Uh, I, I, that looks really cool. You know, it's like a Phoenix or a space cadet thing. I don't know. I like it though. Pretty slick design. So anyway, that's that's it. That's Excalibastard and all of its glory. Um, so go get yourself 2,500 badass rank and screw around with this thing yourself. And yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. 
Thumbs down if you didn't like it. Tell me why. Spread the hate. Whatever you need to do. It's all good in the hood. So, thanks again. See you guys in the next video. Take care.